Yep. It is the end of spring, uh, and today's date is the 30th of May, and most of the wisterias have finished flowering. This one is the pink wisteria called Beni Fuji, and it has been flowering for about three weeks, and these are the last of the flowers. There are many types of wisteria. There is the Japanese wisteria, which is Wisteria floribunda, and there's the Chinese wisteria, which is Wisteria sinensis. How do you tell the difference? The Japanese wisteria, like all Japanese people, twine their tendrils clockwise. The Chinese, who are more um, disorganized, as we would sometimes like to think, they have the Chinese wisteria coiling anti-clockwise, and that's how you tell the difference between the two types of wisteria. But that's just by the by. The by. Now, these have finished flowering. Sometimes I let them set seed so that I collect the seed and grow the seed. But if I don't want to collect the seed, I just trim them off so that the energy is not spent in producing seed. This is a very old wisteria, as you can see. And uh, it's split in the middle, but I will be air layering it to make another plant. But I will show you how we trim our wisterias after they flower. This is a, another wisteria that we have, and it's a lovely cascade style. It has finished flowering, and I've trimmed the flowers off, but it hasn't started producing the tendrils. Now let's move on to some other wisteria which have just flowered. Yeah. This, as you can see, this is a Chinese wisteria, Sinensis, and it has flowered. The flowers are short racemes, and you're going to get the long tendrils growing soon. These are tendrils from last year. I've deliberately left them long because I want to make a big bonsai out of it. But most people like to keep their bonsai nice and compact. So I will show you how we trim the normal type of bonsai wisteria. Here is a selection of wisterias that we import from Japan. This is the white sinensis, which is highly fragrant. And then the blue sinensis, which has short racemes and also highly fragrant. And as you can see, this has already flowered and a few flowers are left on it. So what I do, I would prune these back and I would prune this back. Now this is a typical bonsai wisteria. As you can see, it's got a lovely shape, but if you don't prune it, it will soon get out of control. Look at these long tendrils. This 60 or 70 centimeter long tendril has just grown in the last week. In seven days, it's made 70 centimeters. And if you didn't control it, it will probably grow to about four or five meters long by the end of the season. But as bonsai, we don't want it that long. You can either let it grow to strengthen the plant, but what you can also do is you can count four nodes. If you look at this new shoot here, these are all new shoots. This is one node, one, two, three, four. You can prune up to four nodes like that. And these buds in the leaf axles are next year's flower buds. So you can even prune as hard as that and keep it that, that size. Even this one, I can prune the tendrils back like that and prune the tendrils back. And then that will keep the tree very compact. But as I say, if you want to strengthen the trunk and make it thicker, I would leave the tendrils to grow till about July or August, by which time it would have grown quite long. But then at the end of August, I would prune it back short like this to produce next year's flower buds. So that is how we prune the wisterias. Growing wisterias. In the summer, the wisterias can be soaked in water. In fact, many people still do that. They soak it in a shallow tray or basin of water so that it doesn't dry out. Um, that just prevents the tree from drying out and getting desiccated because they produce such a lot of leaf that they do get dried out very easily. Um, and then you've got to feed it heavily. Now that it's finished flowering, you can use some of the Japanese rapeseed fertilizer or even chicken manure is very good. And just throw it on the surface and that is sufficient. One heavy feed after flowering is sufficient. But pruning is the main thing. 